Hello, week one of 12. How the hell do you learn Spanish? Here we go. So, yesterday I decided I'm going to learn Spanish. And I'm going to learn it in the next 12 weeks because I am going on a volleyball camp to Tenerife. I know Tenerife is a lot of English speakers, but I want to learn Spanish in 12 weeks. So that's my goal I've set myself. But the first challenge is how do you go about learning Spanish? Because obviously, if I was there, I'd have to. That's uh, quite a few people have suggested just go there, but I'm not yet. 12 weeks is tight enough though. So, uh, the challenge is how to learn Spanish fast. I've asked friends online, so far people have come back with Michelle Thomas method. Go to Spain, Argentina, Uruguay, uh, teaching from a Spanish friend, maybe. There's an app called Duolingo. There's an online service, Babel, Babel. There's Rosetta Stone, which I think is really expensive. Coffee Break Spanish is an app, it's supposed to be very good, very good reviews, and a big quantity of reviews as well. Living Language Online looks pretty cool. If it if it kind of delivers on how it's selling itself, it looks pretty good. It's got good Amazon reviews. Uh, FluentIn3Months.com. That fella's really interesting. I connected to him via the $100 startup book by Chris Gillibo. And Tim Ferriss is out there as well talking to him. So my next step is to filter all the options out there. And this week, get them down to shortlist, start using them also develop a profile of the process that I want based on my learning preferences. But the reason I'm recording this is because every week for 12 weeks I'm going to record a video of me trying to read Spanish newspaper online as an exercise in challenging self-consciousness and also performance, my pronunciation and understanding. So with absolutely no teaching whatsoever, none, I only decided this last night and posted online. Let's have a go. So this is Canarias 24 horas. I have no idea how to say numbers in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Cator, Catra, Cienco, I have no idea. But canarias24horas.com and it's the the main article, so I'm going to give this a go. So, oh yeah, and it's 3rd of, 3rd of September, so this is the benchmark, pretty much day one. So, Baja El Paro en Canarias en 4.294, Personas Durant, Durante, Durant, Agosto. Canarias slash as asi, what the hell is that? Mientras en, en Julio, 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 el paro, paro, había aumentado en el archipiélago on en un, uh, un. Uh. 520 personas respecto al mismo mes de 2012. On Augusto se ha reducido, 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 on 2.585 in relation, it's French, en relation, uh -huh. oui. se ha reducido in 2.585 in relation a un año antes, antes, según datos publicados hoy por el Ministerio de Empleo, E? What's why? E? I? E. Seguridad Social. El paro registrado bajo en 4.94 personas respecto a julio en Canarias en agosto. Un descenso del 1.48% que situó en 286081. La cifra. Cifra, 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 
de Desempledo del Archipiélago e invertió la tendencia, tendencia interáneo de aumento que había un mes antes, girando de una subida del 0.2% a una queda del 0.9%. Well, I've got, there's no Google Translate yet. So it's the Canary Islands newspaper, so it's about the Canaries. It's about employment, I can tell that from the picture, because it's a picture of an, an employment, um, it's like social security place. So in the Canaries, in July, Pyro Javier. With the inhabitants, Archipelago, 520 people compared to 2012 in August has reduced by 2.585 with relation to one year before. Seven data is about, according to data published by the Ministry of Employment. And, and, why is and social security? The Pano Registrado Bajo the number of registrations is 4.294 people with respect to July in Canaries and August. A descent, a, a decrease of 1.48% which situates it to situates to 286081 let's see if it is the number of disemployed the number of unemployed the archipelago is that in view to the tendency interannual the only tendency of Numbers which live something. Right, no. Okay, they do. Okay. Understanding out of 5.5. Pronunciation, I got no idea. I don't know how wrong I am. I think I'm going to learn pretty quick. So let's see what Google Translate says. So while in July had increased employment in the archipelago in 520 people over the same month of 2012, in August so many have been reduced relative to the year earlier. According to data released today by the Ministry of Employment and Social Security. Okay, I got that. That was my half a point out of five. Registered unemployment fell by so many people over July in the Canary Islands in August. A decrease of 1.48%, which stood at blah blah blah, the number of unemployed in the archipelago. So, archipelago is the area. And reverse the trend of increasing year there was a month before turning to right. It doesn't really make much sense. Okay, uh, pronunciation, no idea. I'm pretty sure it's pretty shit. Understanding 0.5 out of 5 basically coming from Latin at school and French. So, that's fine. Push on through. Week 1 out of 12. More to come. Bye-bye.